So, and uh, though, even though this is a session on technical developments, I will talk quite a lot about persons in it because uh, uh, I'm coming from a research institute and that's where the scientists are starting to do their science and asking the questions and building their proposals. And uh, I want to tell the story how we support uh, the data workflow during all this um, time and um, which components we use to practice the data workflows. So I want to start with to tell you uh, who and when and how we do data management. Um, so who is doing it? We are a data management team at our institute. We have about five persons. We have got about 400 scientists at the institute. And uh, in between, we uh, have for the research units um, installed uh, another role like a data steward who is somehow the link between the scientists and the data management because we find that it really needs still a lot of communication to get this workflow running. So when do we do data management? We start, we, we like to start very early when the proposal is written, when the ship time um, proposal is done and uh, so to start at the beginning to see what who is collaborating what are the aims and uh, which tools can we offer that this will be a success in the end that there will be data who can be accessible findable and so on and um, so we start with that and uh, then we are there doing the whole process and uh, always uh, are in touch with the persons who are doing the science and who are working with the data. And uh, how do we do it? Yes, we uh, talk to them and we show our systems and we uh, teach them to use it. And um, that, therefore, I will show the, com the components we have at Yuma for the data management and give you the examples for, our, for this workflow for expeditions, mesocosm experiments, and ocean modeling as an, to get an idea how this is running. So the central data management workflow at Geomar uh, starts with the data management plan or a data policy sometimes ago we call it and uh, to, to talk about what kind of data is expected, about the formats, about the persons who are involved and also about the time frames because depending on the discipline the time frame can be very different from physics to geology. Uh, we have uh, an information system to keep this information about data and metadata um, in one place where it can be used from all the people involved to see at which status a project is or which status a data set is and to link it to the plan and to the outcome and to monitor uh, the process. We also have versioning systems, Git and Subversion, to work with the data and with the code. And, uh, to provide accessibility and reusability of the research data, we uh, use persistent identifiers in this project, like DOI and Handle. So to start with the data management plan or the data policy, um, we ask person and uh, assist them to describe what they are planning to do in the project and to agree on a certain uh, way to exchange the data, to store the data about the formats and how they should be made available. And uh, this data management plan then is put into the information system to, uh, that everybody can go there and look what, what do I want to do, when do I want to do it, and where are the data at a certain time. And uh, so the idea is um, that we have at every stage of uh, the workflow, an overview on the outcome of the project. It's not only the plan, but also the record. Afterwards, we can see what kind of data we have and where are they accessible. So our information system is the Ocean Science Information System running at Geoma. And on the left-hand side, you can see um, the overview page, like we have expeditions and experiments and model experiments. And you can see also a kind of customized uh, part of it, my deliverables. So this is um, on which cruises I want to deliver, what kind of data, and when do I want to do it. 
And on the right hand side, it's somehow the data management record. You see it's uh, of one expedition, which, which data are already publicly available, uh, which are internally available and which are still not available. So it's a traffic light um, color code. Um, during this uh, time of uh, using the data, we have uh, offered using versioning systems. We have a subversion system with a traffic key already quite for quite a long time in use, and about 200 users having 70 repositories, and it's code and data available there, and it's about one terabyte. And I think about two years ago, we also installed a GitLab server, and we, are, we also already have about 200 <coughs> users and 70 repositories. And this is connected with the Git LFS, a large file structure, and so we, it's possible to have also large data files available there. Uh, so we have three terabytes and code and data. So um, when we have uh, the data in the final stage of the project um, or of the workflow, um, we do deliver them to um, uh, international repository, we use Pangea, and that's where the, they get a digital object identifier um, to be permanently addressed and citable. And the same is with the software code. We um, would put it um, from the GitLab to the open uh, pages of GitLab and uh, describe the metadata at the Geoma Institutional Repository, OceanRef, and uh, there it gets a DOI from a data site uh, to be referenced and reused. Um, so now I come to the examples. Um, the expedition workflow is uh, that data management plan is set up during cruise planning, which devices will be used, which sensors will be used. We also work together with the AVI in uh, the Moses project and use the sensor.avi um, description a framework and um, then it gets on during the project and people get reminded that they have uh, set up uh, the persons who wanted to deliver for example bathymetric data or CDD data uh, to exchange it and this is used for about 80 expeditions now and two, more than 200 results have been now openly available and made as data publications at Pangea. Connected is a bathymetry workflow where underway bathymetry in the Atlantis project is collected and the raw data are set up with a certain metadata system and put uh, onto uh, open access to Pangea. And we also have the quality control data products available there. Uh, relatively new workflow is in with four mesocosm experiments. We just have a data policy finished this year, and we have 10 experiments in our system and about more than 90 publications. Um, also for the modeling um, experiment, uh, we can provide data on our uh, open up server, and the workflow is that the scientists have their NetCDF files and their description and um, the GitLab versioning and provide it to the data managers and uh, we put it on the OpenDAP server and give this information into our, our repositories to disseminate it. So what is more important for us is that the repositories we use like Pangea or like the um, Ocean Web repository are connected to, for international use. So this is open air harvesting of our um, repository um, ocean rep and there's an example about software code that is available there. So this was my talk. Thank you for your attention. Mm -hmm.